this lifeless body is on my floor right now as I'm speaking to you. Larry, I'm not joking. I don't, I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just waking. Larry, just, just come here fast. Just come here. Larry, come here, please. Thomas, how could you? You got an innocent girl pregnant and you refuse to take responsibility for your actions. We don't need to fight over this, okay? I didn't ask her for a baby. She wanted to play the first one on me, but I'm smart. Someone is trying to put Sun into my gallery. I need him six feet as soon as possible. No problem, ma. Your wish is our command. Officer, there is a, there's a dead person in my house. What? what? You murderer. No, Papa, see. No. So you're a murderer? Very complex case. I think so to say. Tali, this corpse is too fresh. Hmm. You know what I think? No, sir. There might have been some foul play in the night. That's the mystery. We really need to unravel because the suspect is claiming innocence. What is the trouble with Commissioner? Your Excellency. What is happening here? Have a seat, sir. I'm afraid, sir, we are really placed in a tight situation right now. There's been a murder case. We would like you to try and identify the victim because we believe she is somebody very close to you. He has a photograph. What? What's happening here, Mr. Commissioner? Do you recognize the victim? Mr. Commissioner, is it not my daughter, Lizette? Well, the person in that photograph is lying right now at the Central Hospital Mortuary. Well, sir, accept our sympathy. The police will do everything possible to bring the corporates to book. Ah, the dawn. How are you today? 
My brother, <clears throat> we thank God. Just that work is killing me. My brother, something terrible has happened. I just got news that Lizette, Mr. APS's daughter, is dead. What? How? When? What killed her? I don't have the details yet. But rumors have it that she died in a man's house. What? A man's house? Too bad. When did this happen? Last night, they say. And I hear the remains are already in the central hospital mortuary. Oh, may I so rest in perfect peace. Are you still in the office? No, I'm already at home. Okay. Uh, let's meet in the club this evening. Okay, see you then. All right, bye. <sighs> Poor girl. His children. Some guys are very wicked. How can he sleep with a girl and kill her? What was he thinking? That guy deserves to be punished. At least to set an example to the other stupid ones that will follow. I even heard it was due to her drugs. I mean, it's evil to do such a thing. Lizette has never been our friend, but we couldn't have wished her dead. Obviously not. You know, what baffles me in this whole issue is the girl actually slept in the guy's house. You talk as if you don't know Lady Lizette. She was calm and at the same time loose. He shall never be well with that guy. He just wasted a human being like that. Because of sex? If I were a chief judge handling that case, I swear to God I would sentence that guy by hanging up by firing squad. They should even burn him to death. I mean, guys like that do not deserve to live. At all. It's a great loss, but put it up. What's the meaning of this? I must kill that bastard! Yes, that one. That one. Daddy, that bastard to kill my only sister, and I must kill him too. We already have much on our hands, I think. Mommy, please stay out of this. <laughs> Give me that gun and go back inside. What guys gotta do? What guys gotta do, Daddy? Young man, the police are doing their job. I do not trust the law. Daddy, I do not trust. Do not do anything that will sabotage the name of his family. <laughs> Give me that gun and go back inside. <laughs> no, Dad. Trust the law. Be wise. It's not of our interest to kill this boy now. Let the law take its course. You might even get yourself hurt in doing this. <laughs> or do you want to kill your mother? Oh, Look at her. Please. She's the death of your sister. She has been living in her shadows. Please, my son, I beg of you. Please be to your father. Next time you are all we've got left, I beg you to. You are all we've got, my son. Give me that one. I beg you. I beg you in the name of God, my son. Please, please. Please, please. Next time. <laughs> Understand 
unlimited love. How are we going to do? About what? Mm, like pay them a condolence visit. <laughs> you want my father to kill me, eh? Have you forgotten the tension between these two families? Sorry, you. I forgot. But that aside, I feel so bad for them. But going there, I don't think so. We should at least go to the mortuary on the day of the removal of corpse. What do you think? Mm, but you should think about it. Okay. Yeah, I'm famished. I need to go to the kitchen. Please get me a glass of juice on your way back. Okay. Hey guys, if you love what we do and wish to support Believe Studios TV, you can send us your little support through our Momo account 237-675-602-123 or OM account 237-692-462-287. Thanks for supporting us. We equally have a PayPal account. Believe Studios TV, bringing you the best of Cameroonian movies. Darling. Darling. You look worried. What's the matter? This world is a cruel place. What I heard today is it's candor. And what is it you, you heard today that's keeping you so worried? You remember that boy who's been confusing me, beloved? What's his name again? Uh, Frankie Zandini. Thank you, my dear. What about him? Mr. Epi's late daughter Lizard died in his house. Holy Jesus. Are you sure about this? I don't like the young man, but I wouldn't make up a story like this about him. You know me better than that. The news is everywhere. It's even the caption of most of the newspapers. Unbelievable. You better start believing. That is the world to be for you, my dear. So my daughter has been moving around with a murderer. What if Lovell was a victim? And that is a million dollar question I've been asking myself. The police might soon come around here asking the question, investigating. Because hey. your daughter has been hanging around with him. Love it. Love it. She won't kill me. Hey. So this boy wants to disgrace my family. It's unbelievable. Hey. Come in. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. How are you today? Fine. Please, don't swallow me without me. Anyway, I came to show you this. What's in it? Go ahead and read. Madra of Lizard Apier. Frankie Gando? Yes. No. It can be. I told you. You see, Smosis, as you speak right now, he is languishing in the police cell. Precisely the judicial police pending his trial. So. There must be a mix up somewhere. Maybe that's why his number is not going through. I don't know and I don't care. That one no concern me. I told you, man. I'm out. Good luck.
So here you are. I only came to see the face of a bloody murderer and cheat. You know what? She deserves to be hanged and even stoned to death. I thought you were an angel, not knowing you were the devil himself. Prophet, please, I swear to God, I am innocent. Just shut up, you murderer. What the hell was she doing in your room? You fooled me. It shall never be well with you. Ever. Prophet, please, just listen to me. There is absolutely nothing to listen to. Go to hell. been accused of killing his girlfriend. Hey! I'm finished! I'm why? finished! But why? Hey! why? Why? I caught information that the boy who was being arrested of killing Lisette is loved Mr. Billy's daughter's boyfriend. 